Come back, boy! Reading Shakespeare! Report to the guillotine at once. <laughs> Good morning, Fiver. And how are we today? <laughs> Aha, I see we've got a new boy in this morning. And you're from... Korea. <laughs> Another exchange student. OK, boys. Relax. Smoke if you wish. We've got a lot to get through today. I'm due back on strike in five minutes. <laughs> now, who knows the mean average rainfall of Rockhampton? You've got no idea, have you, hey? Ah, 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 ah. That's one for the teachers. <laughs> if you don't know the mean average rainfall of Rockhampton, how do you expect to get a job? It's a jungle out there, a jungle. I should know, I had a job once. Now, are there any questions? Anybody got any? Cappell's got a question. Yes, Cappell. I see, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes us even. OK, well, let's get down to it. The human body. The body beautiful. A joy of beauty is a thing forever. So wrote Keats about the body beautiful. And there it is. What a beautiful body. Now, today, in the body beautiful, we are going to look at the central nervous system. Kappel, I'll ask you to help me demonstrate the central nervous system. That's the boy. Just put your head in there and bang! <laughs> You'll pay for that, Tapple. The education department will not have you ruining their equipment. Pain, boys, pain. The central nervous system. Now, boys, I'd like you all to take out your dictionaries and colour in all the O's. <laughs> oh, come on. It, uh... It takes you back, doesn't it? I mean, school, I mean. I mean, it takes you back, you know, because I went to school. I spent much of my formative years in school. Uh, pardon me, Abdul. <laughs> a lot of fun, those foreign students. I, um, I sat in a desk, not unlike this particular desk here. There's that salmon sandwich I've been looking for since 1956. <laughs> that must be the oldest salmon sandwich in the world. That'll be worth keeping. Now, I, uh, I sat next to my best friend at high school. This isn't him. My, my best friend's dead. He was murdered. He was murdered in retaliation for passing his exams. <laughs> because at our school, Moreland High School, the school motto was, Sapere Orde, or Dare to be Wise. <laughs> and needless to say, he dared and died. He was stabbed with a biro which only once again goes to prove that the pen is anyway. I, uh, in front of me here at school was my other best friend. He was an interesting character. He was the only person in our matric class that was 38 years old. He spent 25 years at kindergarten because he kept failing milk. <laughs> well, it's all right for you to laugh. I sat behind him. I mean... He used to sit around in the sand pit all day playing with the hairs on his chest. I mean, he's what we call psychologically inert. He couldn't think and breathe at the same time. You could tell when he was thinking because he was flat on his back and blue in the face. <laughs> he's, um, he's no longer with us either. Um, he bit his tongue and got food poisoning. <laughs> OK, boys, well, listen, that's it for today. Um, I've got to get back on strike now. Uh, homework for tonight, of course, learn to read. And incidentally, don't forget, lunchtime, the Mother's Club has turned on a special event, the sacrifice of the first form virgin girl to the HSC exam goddess. Thank you, boys. I'll see you tomorrow.